great pleasure. Uh, I'm here interviewing uh, with a club legend. Of course, his name is Trevor Chippy Wood. Welcome to the show, mate. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having me. Easy on the legend, though. Oh, mate, I'm just telling Now, you, of course, are the last Premiership captain. Yes, uh, back in 85. 85. Last, last Premiership captain, so it's been... Uh, it's been a few drought years, and the boys have had some chances, but uh, haven't quite got there at this point in time, unfortunately. Well, I've got to, I've got to ask, mate, how many, how many grand final losses since '85? There's got to be a few in there. Oh, there'd probably be three or four, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. In the A grade, they've won a, won a couple of B grade in, in the middle, but not yep. quite got the A's up. No worries. So let's go back to 1985, mate. A special day. Tell us a little bit about it. where was it? Who'd you play? What happened? How'd you play? Okay, we uh, we played at uh, Thebe Oval uh, versing uh, Smosh Saint Michael's. Yep. Um, yeah, it was a. All, all through the year, it, was, it really was between those two sides. So, um, lovely warm day, uh, great day to play footy. I mean, I think we got up by about uh, 30 points in the end, so uh, uh, great day. It's about 30 years ago. Are any of those uh, premiership heroes here today? Uh, there'd be a fair few of them. There's probably about five or six of them or seven of them over there, to be honest. Okay, so, so tell us a little bit about the function. There is a function, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but we've got a beautiful function over there under the marquee. And What's yeah, happening? it's actually quite interesting because we, we uh, the club's uh, great with their past players, though. We do this once a year. We uh, roll out the old farts and, um, and uh, reminisce. And of course, uh, as the day goes on, the uh, the legends get uh, uh, bigger and bigger. So, yes. uh, and the, the, the beautiful thing about it now is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm talking, you know, 30 odd years ago playing footy, and, um, and you look over there now at the past players, and you look at these guys <laughs> that were kids playing uh, when I was playing. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's great to see everybody back. Yep. Now look, uh, North Haven obviously doing very well today, six goals up, and sitting quite, well, they're sitting well, uh, they're sitting third on eight and three, coming into a bye next week. Have you seen many of the games this year? Oh, I've been to a couple of the games, yep. uh, unfortunately I live out on the other side of town these days, so I don't get down here very often, uh, but, uh, and it also, the competition looks you know, very, very tight, uh, I, I keep an eye on the scores and through uh, Sporting Pulse, um, and the ladder and that, so uh, it does look like it's a very, very close year, so it's probably... And then from one to five or one to six can actually get up and win it this year. So in, in somewhat of a unique phenomenon, I've never seen it before. But there was, a, I think it was about two weeks ago, where a team went from first to fifth, and a team went from fifth to first in the same week, and it is yep, that close. Yep. So of course, uh, Eastern Park and Westminster up there with North Haven, uh, looking the teams to beat. And Salisbury, who made the grand final last year but stayed down, which was a, an interesting one that we'll leave alone. Well, I think Eastern Park are the guys. Yeah, uh, from what I can gather, they're the real strong unit that's, that's going around at the moment. So. Yeah. Um, Eastern Park, of course, at home, very hard to beat. I think they've played them twice already, but being that the grand final was at Thebet and Oval, and uh, I'd say the size and proportions would be very not similar. dissimilar to this, yeah, and uh, exactly. I actually think yeah. it's good favour North Haven, and obviously North Haven well overdue to uh, to really have that big year. So of the new players, mate, uh, the players at the club now, uh, who, who impresses you the most? Well, look, it's, it, there are a number out there. There's Pedo, um, uh, Pedersen, number yeah, four, Pedersen. Play, play in the middle of the Can't miss you, mate. Bright orange boots. Yeah, bright orange boots. And I'll tell you what, you've got to be a good player to wear those colour boots. Yeah. And he, he is doing it exceptionally well, too. He's such a hard nut, uh, hit over the ball, and he was, he was attacked the bloke with the ball as well. So uh, he's been my standout, uh, most definitely. Okay. It's also good to get a couple of the other, uh, other blokes back, uh, Rory Durden. Uh, he's, he's back to playing on his first A great game uh, this week, so again, he's he's a quite a tall centre half, a raking midfoot guy. So, done a few good things early? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, done very good. Yeah. And one thing that really impresses me about North Haven, and we'll talk about it, is, is the, there's a lot of Ford Avenues. Tommy Lipson looks dangerous, Matt is very good, of course, uh, Matty Reid to come back in the side, so uh, not relying on anyone Ford. No, no, exactly right, sharing it around. But I also uh, love the aspect, every time there, there is a, a mark, there's the, a lot of run. Guys are actually sort of uh, feeding the ball out quite quickly, so uh, we're getting a lot of run from the uh, from, from around the centre. So uh, yeah, the boys looking good. We we'll just step back in time, mate. Tell us uh, some of the stars of the 1985 team. What are some of those famous names that? Uh now, I'm sure if they listen to this later on, they want to hear their name, mate. Tell me, who, who were the stars that day? Oh, look, there's, there's, a, there's a whole number of them. It's, uh, it was quite a team effort, so it's pretty hard to sort of uh, to isolate two or three. But uh, you know, Stephen Ingalls is always a um, very, very tall centre half forward going into the ruck. Paul Paparella uh, always gave his, gave his all in every game he ever played, and it was no different in that game there as well. Um, Dean Salmon, full forward, you know, probably a guy that uh, probably could have. Could have put the boots on for uh, Port Magpies back at, back in the day. So uh, had a couple of good forwards down there, back Timmy Evans and, and, and Scotty Hodges. Yeah, and, yeah. But I must say, uh, you know, 
we, we had a cracking side back then. So, uh, and it was interesting to note too, we had a bloke out called Daryl Carl. Uh, of course, Leo Mildy was our coach. And we got Daryl Carl to come out mid-season. And, um, and this is the rumour has it that um, uh, we won the prelim final to go, to go into the grand final. And um, he actually pulled out so uh, someone who could take his spot because he, he didn't want to take a spot away from a guy that's played all year. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah, so. um, best player you've seen at North Haven ever? Best player was a, uh, a bloke who's no longer with us. His name's Jeff Fabian, uh, Bob Fabian's boy from, uh, from uh, Port Days. Uh, by by mile, our best player out here. Yeah, he only played with us a few years, loved his surfing, but um, he's no longer with us, unfortunately, but he's probably the uh, powerful pound the best player. Fantastic. And so what do you do with yourself now when you're uh, not watching your uh, I, uh, I work for a uh, pharmaceutical company called GSK, Glaxo Smith Pine, so I'm a uh, pharmaceutical sales rep. Do you so. get much work from Jeff's Cross? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Too soon? Is that right? No, we might have to scrub that one. Uh, it's just a bit of a joke there. Uh, look, uh, Chippy, thanks very much for being on the show. Tip from here, um, North Haven by how much? Oh, look, at, we're six goals up at the moment. Twelve. Twelve would be nice. Well, wouldn't yeah. that be great? <laughs> thanks very much for being on uh, SA Footballer TV, mate, and joining us on for a live call, and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Thanks very much. Thanks, mate. Cheers.